Okay, well, the J-Blade launcher is a project that kind of came out of nowhere. It was actually the result of a failed project, which I might cover in another video. But for now, let's get into it. I'm Jay, this is JBV Creative. Let's create. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put this knob into the crank. So pop it in that hole, C-clamp it on. Then we're gonna grab one of these round hex shafts. That goes into this hole right here. Now you pop the 60 tooth gear, which is like the medium sized gear. That goes onto the end of that shaft. And then you're gonna pop the crank on that shaft as well. Take one of these beefy C-clamps and C-clamp it into place. So if you wanna use the drill attachment, which I recommend printing this drill attachment in 100% infill, it needs to be really strong. Rather than using the shaft that you just put in, you're just gonna pop the drill attachment shaft in instead. And there's nothing to hold it on because the drill holds it all into place. So the next thing you're gonna do, grab this hex round hex shaft. This pops into this gear on the non-spacer side. That then goes into this hole here. Grab one of the small gears that goes on the other end of that shaft. And then another beefy C-clamp to hold that into place. And then the other shaft, the last one that's remaining, goes into this hole facing down towards the big gear. Then you put a small gear on that shaft with the spacer facing the base. Then you pop this spinner piece on the end of that shaft and a beefy C-clamp to hold that into place. And then the last step is to just pop the handle into these holes right here, press it into place. And there you go, ready to go. So for the J-Blade, there's holes for screws and they're number four screws, number four by a quarter, I believe. If you don't have the screws, it's fine. It just gives it a little bit more spinning force or rotational inertia. Be careful, have fun, and let her rip. <laughs> 